this is the sterilization chamber, the overall uh, sterilization chamber that is uh, comprised uh, of uh, a few parts. Uh, we're going to get into this uh, a little bit later, but uh, essentially uh, the chamber itself is vacuum tight because the plasma sterilization occurs at subatmospheric pressures. The material to be sterilized is uh, essentially introduced uh, right here, and typically there would be a basket that would contain materials and devices. The chamber door is then closed, and the closure of the chamber is initiating a pump down to a preset low pressure. And when this set point is reached, a gas sterilant, typically an oxidizing gas, is introduced through these tubulations being dispersed throughout the entire volume. And that continues up to where the pressure reaches a preset reaction pressure, at which point the electric field is applied to this particular cage, if you will, that houses the material to be sterilized. The plasma strikes at that point, and the electric field is restricted to this annular volume while the inside of this cage, where the material to be sterilized is housed, remains glowless and field-free, which means that the sterilized uh, material and devices are totally isolated from any energetic material ions and electrons that are being generated in this annular volume, and it is only subjected to electronically or electrically neutral active species of the oxidizing gas. This exposure continues for about 40 to 50 minutes, at which time the sterilant or the oxidizing gas is being stopped, the electric field is being removed, and the chamber is being pumped down to remove any residual oxidizing gas to a preset low pressure, at which point the pump is isolated from the chamber and air is admitted through a bacteria retentive filter to the point where atmospheric pressure is established in the chamber. And the door at that point could be opened and the material to be sterilized could be removed.